The Buckeyes graduated a player last year named Kirk Coleman. He is an Ohio native and for years was one of their star defensive players. As good as he was at preventing opponents from scoring during his Ohio State career, he's found a way to excel at preventing something else off the field, something much more important. This week's Give Big is Kurt Coleman. Kurt Coleman is no stranger to taking whatever he wants on the field. And it's an interception for Kurt Coleman. Still in bounds. He's going to go all the way. Touchdown, Ohio State, 89 yards. But two events that occurred within a nine-month span during his freshman year at Ohio State profoundly inspired him to give off the field. During a scrimmage in April 2006, Kurt Coleman was involved in a play that left fellow teammate Tyson Gentry paralyzed. That was very tough for me. I, I really debated on you know, playing football. What should I do with my life? Because um, you, know, you don't play the game of football to hurt people, especially to paralyze people. I think the most important part about that was when I met with Tyson after his injury, after he had a couple surgeries and he was able to talk to me, he just said, it's all right, it's going to be all right. Things happen for a reason and I'm going to get through this. That kind of inspiration you know, helped me get through the first quarter of uh, my freshman year. In December 2006, as the Buckeyes prepared for the national championship game against Florida, Kurt Coleman was blindsided with another piece of potentially devastating news. My dad calls me late at night and he says, um, I got some news for you. I got breast cancer and I kind of laughed, you know, I said, that's funny, really, what, what, what's up? And he's like, no, I really um, have stage two uh, breast cancer. And he's like, I just want you to know, um, I'm going to beat this. Those two instances in my freshman year really gave me uh, a nice foundation to where I knew I could, you know, give back and, you know, put a lot of things out there for people to be aware of, especially male breast cancer. Kurt Coleman took immediate action. He came in contact with uplifting athletes. This is a great cause for everybody to really get involved with. An organization where the number one goal is to raise awareness of rare diseases like male breast cancer. Kurt eventually helped launch an Uplifting Athletes chapter at Ohio State. As former president of Uplifting Athletes, what I was able to do is I was able to get people under me as far as um, football players. And by doing that, we can get you know all different types of demographics to come and join us and continue to just raise awareness and raise money and you know have fun doing it. Coleman spearheaded several events with Uplifting Athletes. Among the most popular, an online gaming challenge between Buckeye football players to help raise the awareness of male breast cancer, kidney cancer, and CMT, or Charcot-Marie Tooth Disease, an inherited neurological disorder. He has come to be the champion, the best player, second year in a row. Did you see what happened? No. I got stuffed twice on the goal line, one yard. It was a great opportunity for me to kind of just go out and be the, the front runner at Ohio State, but now, now that I'm done with Ohio State, I'm still giving back, you know, to everyone else that is still going through the process there. In April 2010, the Philadelphia Eagles selected Kurt Coleman in the seventh round, and his dad, Ron Coleman, is now cancer-free. Kurt's good fortune has not slowed down his desire to volunteer his time, despite the rigors of being an NFL rookie. Right now, I'm doing whatever I can around the community. It's tough as a rookie because you're, you're hit with a lot of things and you know this is a new city. But I think once you find your niche of what you love to do, you just continue to run with it. On this night, during a rare day off, Coleman visits Hope Lodge, which provides housing at no cost to cancer patients being treated in the Philadelphia area. This is the first event for me as a, as a Philadelphia Eagle to go out into the community. You know, I, I get to cook up some food and dish it out. So this will be a very fun event. I love interacting with people, talking with people, you know, seeing, hearing their stories. Um, so this is going to be fun for me. All right, well, hey, it was good talking with you guys. Hey, good talking. God bless you guys. For some people here are just, you know what I mean, they're just, they're just you know, they're here for some kind of hope, and that this might make their day. I think faith is believing in something and seeing what you believe. 
Everything that I've gone through, there's a rhyme and reason to it. I've been able to get through these things that I've gone through, my dad has been able to get through. So I think the more faith I continue to have and the more faith I continue to share with other people, the more hope that they can see that you know this is working for me. It's having faith and believing what, you, what, what you're doing and knowing that what you're doing is right. And I know that you know what I'm doing is right. To support uplifting athletes or learn more about how you can give big, visit btngivebig.com.